Welcome to Arena. I'm Will Wheaton. And I'm Travis Outs. Tonight on Arena, Team UMM hoped to face down their third challenger. Trouble is, challenger didn't show up. Turns out that Team UMM is just too darn good. Yes, a bunch of babies. <laughs> well, rather than send UMM home to wait for a non-chicken challenger and force you, our loyal audience, to watch reruns of Make Room for Travis. Hey, hey that show is huge in Newfoundland, OK? Oh, once again, you make my point better than I ever could. Thank you. Yeah, so rather than send them home empty-handed, we gathered whomever happened to be hanging around at the time, combined them with some UMM alternates, and cobbled together for you Team Leftovers. Oh, clever name. Well, I can't take credit for that much as I'd like to. So UMM will play Leftovers in Jedi Knight, Mech Warrior 4, Black Knight, and a new cover to the Arena Games, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. <laughs> Do you think that we'll be able to get through that without one lame Godzilla joke? Well, we've managed to make it through 12 shows without a single lame joke, right? Ah! Hmm. Oh. Maybe we should just go to the score. Okay. <laughs> In each match, there are five possible points to be won. Each match is broken into three games, which are broken into three rounds. The team which wins the most points will advance to the next match. Points are awarded based on the following criteria. Each game is worth one point. The team with the most total accumulated kills will win one point, And the team with the most valuable player will win the final point. If you missed any of that, you should ask the team that didn't show up. I hear they have some free time. <laughs> Let's meet the players. Say hello to Team UMM. Donovan Salser, Tactical Frostbite. It's Edward Escobar, The Drone. It's Anthony Bell, Space Monkey. Jesse Salser, The Stain Boogeyman. Hide the women and children, it's Team Leftovers. Dustin Dudgeon, Nits. Tyler King, Alapex. Don Bowie, Gerbil Boy. Derek Arrington, Connor. You know, they're a plucky bunch of kids, except that Connor. He looks downright spooky. It's like Mad Max meets the birdcage. Yeah, but with fewer cars. <laughs> our first game tonight is Jedi Outcast, and our arena is called Garrison 27D. In this cramped Imperial outpost, teams UMM and Leftovers will run down narrow corridors in a capture the flag contest. There are many places to hide, so players will have to stay alert if they want to survive. In addition to the usual deathmatch weaponry we've all come to take for granted in multiplayer games, Jedi Outcast adds in something very unique to the Star Wars universe. Annoying ancillary characters are why they only appeal to children, alienate, and irritate the genre's core audience? Oh, that's not unique to Star Wars. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about the Force. Ah, the Force. If the standard weapons just aren't doing it for our players, they can always use the Force to run faster, jump higher, or throw up force fields. Our players have their blast shields down and they're ready to fight, so let's take a look at Jedi Outcast. One. All right, we'll begin round one with our good friend Alapex for Team Leftovers and our not quite as good friend Stained Boogeyman for and UMM. And Gerbil Boy who's just got excited. You know what I like about Gerbil Boy is that he looks like his name. Uh, I, th I think sure. that's I think that's nice and entertaining. I think everyone should look like Meanwhile, their name. Meanwhile, we have Alapex who's just stealed the blue flag and it's been blown away. Alaplex, Alapex, whatever right, I say, that's what it is. I'm a host, damn it. Oh, excuse me. Here's Stained Boogeyman with a red flag for UMM and Alapex. Four team leftovers heading into the blue base. He uh, does a little force jumpy jumpy and uh, picks up the blue flag. I'm going to call him Betsy. Here, go here goes Betsy with the blue flag who's opened up every door in the facility, which is important. It's very nice to do that. It's very important. It's like leaving all the lights on before you leave the house. Hey, is sure. Betsy what they call you in prison? <laughs> I'm just wondering. Hey, look at that. There's Stained Boogeyman with the red flag, uh, force running on his way back into his own base. Uh, chooses to open just one door, and here is Gerbil Boy. Speaking uh, of prison. Uh, with his, uh, his, his, his lightsaber out. out. Also, speaking of prison, uh, Stained Boogeyman continues to return the, the, the flag effort there as Gerbil Boy has managed to pick up the blue flag and has come into his own base. Of course, his flag isn't there, so he won't be able to score. He's having but a little he, problem jumping. He's a little portly, Gerbil Boy. You saying fat people can't jump? I'm saying that if it was me, I would probably be laying down and having a donut right now. You know, actually, I've seen you handle your lightsaber, and it's very impressive. <laughs> oh! I, that, that's all. I'm just, I'm just Thank saying Thank you, everybody. That. Oh, Gerbil Boy goes down. Stain Boogeyman scores. Round one goes to Team UMM. Where is that rocket launcher? Is that 6 to 0? No. That's terrible. Two. And we start round two with Connor hey, showing his nice lightsaber. Helmet. And Nitz. Ah, Nitz. I remember Nitz. From where? Ah, uh, camp. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do you guys spend a lot of time together at camp? Not really. Nitz wasn't very popular. <laughs> and there's good Betsy <laughs> with the blue flag. That's Alopex. Sure, you say Alopex, I say Betsy. Okay, very nice. Uh, you know, you're on the outside now. You don't have to keep doing that. 
<laughs> Alopex for Team Leftovers carries the uh, blue flag all the way back to his own base, but uh, he's run into some jumping trouble again. What is it yeah. with these guys in the jumping trouble? I, I don't know. Played for this some game. reason, jumping is not not hard. For uh, some reason, uh, Team Leftovers is having problems getting it up. Hmm. I'm sorry. That sounded wrong. Uh, getting up. Getting it up. Right. Up getting. Keep going. Hmm. Dig that hole a little deeper. You know, there's only so much I can do. They're running around with long, <laughs> glowing lightsabers. <laughs> Stained Boogeyman has the red flag for Team UMM, and now he's done Travis a very, very smart thing. He knows that uh, another member of the other team has his own flag, and he's not going to be able to score, so he's gone back into an alcove, thrown up a force field, and he's going to hide behind it until, hopefully, one of his teammates takes out the other flag carrier. It looks like Alopex is thinking exactly the same thing. This is going to be a very it's, exciting round. It's funny. One man's, <laughs> one man's smart is another man's cowardly, I guess. Maybe you could be smart and cowardly at the same time. Hmm. Hmm. Let's think about that for a moment. Dum, dum, Alopex dum, dum. continues oh. to hide out here. I just said for a moment. Alopex continues to hide out, but now he's run into some trouble. He's going to have to fight to defend himself. The gerbil boy running around there with the, the guns and the firing, and... Betsy goes down. And Stain Boogeyman wins the round for Team UMM. <laughs> Come on, move, fat boy. Oh, let's hit him. Three. Great way to start round three is, of course, with our good friend Frostbite and our not-so-good friend Stain. Boogeyman runs right in and picks up the red flag, and he's on his way out, uh, running backwards, which is always a good he's idea. He's just showing off. Yeah, nobody likes a show-off, Stained, okay? So let's just be real clear on that right Actually, now, Mr. Actually, I kind of like a show-off. Do you? Yeah, a lot, better than, a lot better than Betsy, who's carrying the blue flag. And just sauntering. Oh, there oh, we go. There's now a little force speed. running there. Look at that. It's almost like he heard you. Stained is up around the corner. There's a force field there for some doing, odd doing reason. nothing. But he's going to go back and camp out with it. Oh. No, 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 he's not. Wow, that was really cool. So, Stained Boogeyman went to go do the same exact thing he'd done in the previous round, camping, hiding behind the force field, but Gerbil Boy says, no way. I'm going to come in here and stop you from doing that, mister. And how come you never call me? You said it wasn't going to be a one-night thing. Well, there you go. Another man's cool is one man's cowardly again. Uh, speaking yeah. of cool, uh, Stain did ultimately score for Team UMM, and they have the one nothing lead right now. Well, I would imagine if they scored, the game's pretty much over, isn't it? UMM stays true to form, sweeping all three rounds of Jedi Knight, not letting leftovers capture even one flag. Well, that's because, just like Team Iron, Team UMM assigns certain roles to certain players. Yeah. In this case, Stained Boogeyman, who has been the flag carrier every round, and he does it very well. UMM has the early lead. We'll see if Leftovers can catch up, huh? When Arena returns. Content? Right, you put content. ketchup on Leftovers. Ah, that's why it's content. Yeah. Aye, 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 aye.